we all, there's women out there now that go through these things, and that's why I said it has a, I think it has a powerful message, and I think this type of messages like this, even through movies, needs to be put out there. So, um, it's kind of enjoy. I'm enjoying it. Absolutely. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. So I'm Sarah, reporting live from Sticky Situation, Episode 2, and I'm here with... Remington, still, and I'm playing a cop in the movie. And it's called something on Okay, Mr. Steele, how do you feel about the episode you watched this evening? I liked it, put together well, you know what I'm saying? Edited good. I like my part. <laughs> Could have been longer, but it was cool. Yeah. Was there anything in there that you found uh, maybe a little controversial? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. It was all right. Okay. You were very comfortable. Yeah, it's okay. Did my thing. She was coaching me, you know what I'm saying? I did it like four or five times, right? Six, seven. <laughs> but, you know, I got it together. My, like, my first time, got the lines like what? A couple of days. I had to memorize it, so did it. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Is this your first time acting? Uh, no, I've done acting before. What other projects have you done? Well, I worked with a couple of uh, short film movies, you know what I'm saying? But nothing really big. You know what I'm saying? It's more like my first real close up type movie. You know what I mean? So I do more like music. I'm a regular artist. So I sing music. That's how I know summer. Nah. <laughs> like, what you mean? Like what? Nah, nah. Nah. <laughs> Give you something. Really? All right. Okay. Hot boy, I'm going to do something off a summer song. Hot girl, my name. Hot boy, my name is Hot boy, my name. Hot boy, my name is Hot boy, my name. Hot boy, my name is Hot boy, my name. When I drink liquor, just bust champagne. Listen, watch the desert and you always start with. Oh, oh me so I know it's a blood clash. Hey, fan me up, fan me up, fan me up. Fan me up, me hot to rascal. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I play, I play, I play Collins. Mr. Dunbar, can you explain to us your um, experience with acting? Uh, my experience with acting, I feel like I've been acting all my life. Uh, I love to make, make believe. Uh, that's how it all starts in the imagination. And for me, this character, we have some kind of a connection. I can't really say exactly what it is yet until I read further down, but I feel like we have more of a connection than what shows in episode two so far. How did you feel about episode two? Hmm, episode two. I love the last scene. <laughs> that was my favorite scene of all. But now, now and then was it just entertaining but it looked so natural and for the girl to say that was her first time or she was nervous it didn't show at all yeah so for me episode the, the last episode was it and besides summer is a natural too so i guess that helps absolutely absolutely so how do you feel about um the script thus far i love the script because i feel as if my character can go into like so many directions and from what i've heard a little bit of so far he has a background that has not been exposed yet and I can't wait uh, I pretty much had the lines when I came but it was just a matter of what how Summer wanted it or where she wanted us to go or movement and that's one thing I love about this film that like she has people doing some amazing movements like maybe you guys might not pick it up but the movements are crazy as far as like one it's like this person coming that person's going it's like you don't really get to see that in many movies and it shows and that's what I really love about this project it's very professional right it's professionally done Zen is a Zen master like the things he's doing with the camera is, is amazing to see where that goes or how far it goes is like, I believe I think it's a challenge how long did it take you to prepare for the role and when you finally started acting on the scenes how did you feel about your character and your robbery partner's character well um it took me probably like three days just to study the, the, the um my my um script and um it wasn't very hard because 
not that I'm a robber in real life or a raper, but it's, it's acting, you know, natural. You like you're watching it on TV, you just pick some scene that you've seen before on TV and you just picked up, yeah, you just picked up and, and do it to the best of your ability. And I like it. I like, I like being a robber in the movie, not in real life. But, you know, Pretend because you don't go to jail, right? Yes. Hopefully, I don't die in the in, at the end of the the, um, the episodes. I'll take the I'll take a life sentence, but I don't want to die. Well, I guess we'll just have to see, right? Absolutely. But thank you very much for your time. So, what did you think about the episode tonight? Well, tonight, the episode two is try, probably try to bring up some situation in the um in the movie like I can men go around in the home Bobby Zo Mr. Zo how did you feel about the project thus far The project is great quite challenging I love it It's great it's engaging Can you tell me more about your character I play the character Jeff the husband to Kelly Vendela, of course. Um, yeah, it's quite interesting, and uh, I mean, it's an everyday character. Come on now, you know, it's, a, it's cool. I love it. It's a character that has something to do with father figure, wonderful family, and uh, you know, just some sort of intruder just walking to the home and mess everything up. I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, but that's a, that's a very wonderful story. And, uh, I play the father. Father to his family. Yeah, I think that's, that's about it. Mm. They don't want to see this one. Episode three is hot. You don't see nothing yet. You talk about episode two? Man, this girl is something. Someone is a fire. She wrote that stuff. Man, it's you guys need to come back. Tell everybody to come and watch episode three. That stuff is hot. Wow, I I thought episode two was amazing. I was, just, I was just I was just going over it last night, and I was like, what? Where did she get the idea from? She's just she's something else, man. She episode three gonna bring fire to the whole sticky situation. I'm serious. That's the that's the best. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see episode three because episode two and one was awesome. How do you feel about the scenes that you shot today? What was your favorite one? <laughs> my, my favorite one was when I was asking. I asked someone about, let's say, Angel, the character. Okay. Real life is something like that. Yeah, I was asking about some sort of tension between she and my wife. And I think I like that because I just wanted to find out what was the little bit of sneaky thing going on in my house, you know? All of a sudden, I see her kind of sneaking with my wife, and my wife is funny, just running here and there. And, you know, just, this is funny, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, what's going on in my home? You know, this is my home, I have no idea. What's up with this? But then she said, nothing, you know? And I'm like, be honest. Come on, now, something going on, you know? But that's the most important. I love that scene. All the other scenes are very... Great. I mean, it's on point, especially the last scene. Oh my God. Vida, that's the first time I did. She said, "Man, that was natural." She she hit it right on the. Ooh, she killed it, girl. You kid, I think. Keep it up, man. You're a good actress, right there. I love that scene. The last scene was on point. I love that last scene. I mean, not because I'm a, not 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 because of the other one now, you know, but. But she, she nailed it as a first-time actress. She hadn't done acting before, and her first-time acting was on point. She hit it. She hit it hard, man. She did good. Summer, you good, man. Speaking of acting, I've heard you've been pretty busy. Are you working on anything else? Yeah, very busy. I just got through with a movie called Shatter. I played a lawyer in it. Man, it's a big thing. Man. It's will be in the tears, hopefully, 2016. It's a, it's a tears, not all tears, yet. Okay, congratulations on your projects. All right, thank you very much for your time. I'm Sarah with Summer Angel and Zen Productions. 
Tonight, I'm interviewing for Sticky Situation, Episode 2. And tonight, I'm interviewing one of our main stars, our main characters, Vandella. Nice to meet you, Vandella. Hi, nice to meet you. How do you feel about Episode 2? <laughs> episode 2, Episode 2. Well, I was not always there when they were filming it, and they, that was a total surprise. I must say that. Um, but it's good. Um, seeing where she's taking it. It ties in with everything that, that um, we're trying to do. And I feel very good about it. I'm happy that the people were engaged. They were watching. And I loved it. I loved it. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about your role. Kelly. So, I'm housing Angel. She got in the sticky situation bringing it up my house, making it another sticky situation. And we've been friends for many years, so it's, you know, it was always my pleasure to host her and make sure that she's okay to get through, through what she's going through. So, um, my husband, my husband, my husband, Bobby. <laughs> I don't know what to say about him, because he's doing some things behind my back. And I'll find out about it. I'll know what's going on. But um, I, I think I, I want her to turn it up a notch, you know, so we could do some more things together, make it more fun. All right. What was your favorite scene that you shot for episode two? My favorite scene was when we were on the floor talking about what she's been through and me just encouraging her, um, letting her know that things will get better. And even though she has been through a lot of things in life, that's not the end of it. Uh, things happen for a reason, and we always fall down, get up, and go on. So I'm encouraging her in that light, housing her, and just making sure that she gets back on her feet and go on with her sticky situation. <laughs> Wow, thank you so much for your time this evening. I think you did an awesome job. Um, can you tell the viewers more about your experience with acting? It looked like you were very experienced there. Are you? Well, acting for me started out with Summer Angel. She took me on set with her one day just to hold the remote. And then there was a line that was created for me. And before you know it, I'm an actor. <laughs> But no, I back in high school I did the drama, the acting in Jamaica, and then you know moving uh, here to, to this country, 2007, and then with her taking me on and and then introducing me to more people in the industry, and I, it's something that I love, genuinely love acting, and I'm looking forward to pursuing it. Okay. Thank you so much for your time this evening. You did an awesome job, and I am enjoying this the episode so far. Uh, a Summer Angel in Zim production, and I'm here with an audience member today. How did you think, how did you like the episode? I thought it was amazing. I was very impressed. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. I am friends with Barney, a.k.a. The Robber. Barney played an awesome... Yes, he did. Barney did his thing. Yes, Everybody he did. Everybody did his thing. Everybody put it down. I was very impressed. The script and all the twists and turns, and I'm very intrigued. Like, I'm already sucked in. I can't wait to see what happens next. Do you have a favorite? A favorite character? Yes. That's tough to say. Um, I think I would say Summer thus far. Very controversial things she's getting herself yes. into. Yes, yes, a hot mess. It, it's, it's very relatable, though. I think everybody's been through a lot of drama in their lives, and they can relate to it. Absolutely. So, um, do you plan on uh, checking out the uh, episodes three? Most definitely. I can't wait. I, I hope there's a three and a four and so on and so on. So spread the word around. Um, I enjoyed interviewing with you today, and thank you very much for your time. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Mr. Prince White. Why? I'm very sorry. <laughs> Can you explain to me what you do? Well, I'm a, I'm a producer. And I'm a director and also a writer. Okay. Did you have any um, participation in tonight's project? Not really, uh, but uh, I was invited by Summer Angel. And uh, I, what I saw, I've, I've seen a couple of you know, familiar faces here tonight, and I'm very impressed with what, I, what I've seen. Uh, it's, it's, it's great to see such a thing in, in industry. Uh, it always brings us proud to see a lot of things you know, happening like this, of this nature. You know, Bobby, Summer Angel, Vida. 
you know some of the familiar faces I've seen here tonight and I've done their you know they played their, their role in this uh, in this in this uh, project and I think they all did extremely well. They did an awesome job. I would agree with you. Um, what was your favorite scene? I mean, this is my first this is my first time actually in the Washington uh, stick situation. Uh, I've seen I've heard about it, but tonight I would say every every scene for the matter is my favorite because it's storyline, you know. So it kind of, you know, I was sitting there and I, I kept, it keep you, it, it's more suspenseful. So I don't know what's going on, but I mean, it's like I'm catching along. So I wouldn't say any particular scene is actually my favorite because I love it. I love it all. You're sitting on the edge of your seat to wait and see what's happening next. I, I would like to say the last scene, but you know, again, hey, I'm a guy. But what I saw was, and I, I was telling her, uh, what's her name again, Vida? Yeah, and I was just telling her, I said, what she did was extremely well. And I mean, this is her first, her first time actually playing a role like that. So she did extremely well. I think she kind of brought it out. And everybody did you know, extremely well, but she, you know, she kind of killed it. So I'm here with Sharnay Richburg, and she is a viewer on this evening. Ms. Richburg, how, do you like the, how did you like the episode tonight? Well, the episode was very wonderful. I enjoyed every minute of it. What was your favorite scene? Uh, when the robbery. And the husband, when she put the husband out the room <laughs> and threw him on the couch, that, that was very interesting to me. Could you relate to that? Yes. <laughs> it was very interesting. Um, did you have an idea what was going to happen next in the episode? No, not really. But as the movie went on and I start seeing, what, you know, Catherine, like, putting it all together, I kind of figured what was coming next. Who is your favorite character? Um, the husband. <laughs> the husband. <laughs> he was my favorite character. Okay. Um, what do you think is going to happen with that character? She, the, wife, the wife feels, though, that she thinks that um, some angel and her husband is having an affair. But she kind of sort of like they got an understanding that that's not going on right now. But somewhere down the line... Some he's going to try to come on to her because the friend I don't know his name, but um, Jeff Jeff is enticing Bobby to do something wrong when it is shitting, so he needed this. <laughs> Let that be. <laughs> and I and I just really like I, I want to see episode three. Oh, right. it's gonna be very interesting. Okay, I'm waiting to see. I better get a sneak preview. But <laughs> well, we're gonna be waiting. I hope you're right. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Hello, I'm here with Nikki Oliver. Nice to meet you, Nikki. How did you think um, they did on the actors did on episode one? I liked it. I didn't see episode one, but this was very interesting, and I cannot wait to part three. Very good, very good. Um, who was your favorite character so far? The husband. He was hilarious. <laughs> very funny, right? Yes. Um, how would you feel about a situation like that? I don't think I can deal with it. <laughs> it takes a lot, right? But she was a very good friend. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. Good film. Very good film. What was your favorite scene? Well, all all the scene was pretty good, but um, I kind of like the kind of the argument scene in the kitchen. It's a pretty good scene. All the actors are very good. Very good. In the episode. The way the film is going there, I don't look like it's going to turn out too good. I'm expecting some bad things to happen within the house. Um, I'm expecting some really to get worse or some scandalous stuff probably to go on behind the scene. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Mr. Brown. Nice to meet you. Good evening. I'm here interviewing the audience for episode two of Sticky Situation, and I'm here with Valerie. Nice to meet you, Valerie. Uh, what did you like about the episode? Well, I liked how most of the time it was like the husband, he was always getting curious about what was always happening. Did you think that he would find out what was going on? Yes. And why is that? He's a very curious guy. Very curious guy, huh? <laughs> What do you think is going to happen in episode three? I think he's going to figure out and start freaking out. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, Valerie. And your name is? Dr. Damien Reed. Nice to meet you, doctor.
Can I ask you how you felt about the episode so far? So far, I really believe that the episode was very good. The actors were very well, did very, very well. Uh, I was very curious about what the episode three is going to be about. And I think somebody's going to be blackmailed. Blackmail, you say. So who was your favorite character? Well, I believe that Angel was and Bobby. And uh, there was someone else, too. I can't remember the name. The wife? The wife, too. And this lady right here. Yes, yes, yes. What did you like about Shai's character? I think she was very manipulative, yes. And that she... Uh, trade to be a friend and really she was like a Judas <laughs> Judas <laughs> exactly <laughs> ultimate betrayal right huh? yes so um, in episode 3 what do you expect to see well like I said I really believe that um, I think that uh, the wife is going to be blackmailed by Angel Okay, Dr. Reed, thank you very much for your input. I'm Dizzy Domba, um, Bobby V, um, the audit good. From your experience as a director, what would you say, how, how would you say they did as far as um, They did an um, awesome job. I mean, from, you know, uh, from the start um, to the end. Uh, I mean, everything was good. I, I have no complaints. So, um, you did a really good job. What was your favorite episode, uh, scene? Um, well, I mean, they're all good, but um, my favorite, or one of the one on the porch with um, Bobby V and, um, and um, Dizzy. That was really good. It was constructed very well. Right? Yes, yes, very, uh, very well um, on, um, you know, put together. So what do you think about um, what's going to happen in episode three? I, right now, I really don't know, but I look forward to seeing um, episode three. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time. She's confident. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. She's confident. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. And I'm down with it. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. She's confident. I can tell the way she wants. I'm here on Sticky Situation uh, Episode 2, and I'm here with... Timothy Young. Mr. Young, how did you like the episode tonight? Uh, I actually enjoyed it. It was very entertaining. Uh, first time being here in this type of environment, uh, you know, and... Uh, very exciting. I'm ready for three. You know, I feel like I feel like going home and be able to put it in now and finish. But you know, I'm gonna have to wait. It's awesome, right? It's awesome. It's entertaining. I enjoy it a lot. Did you get a chance to view episode one also? Um, just since I was been here, um, I got to see it, and uh, I've been watching her and, and friends with Vendella. So I've been trying to follow. Hopefully, one day I'll be in one of the episodes if she lets me. Uh. I'm a Philly native, uh, you know, I've been born and raised here, so coming back to Philly, you know, trying to be part of it the best way I can. How do you think um, things are coming along as far as the storyline? Uh, eventually, I think Angel is going to get what she needs to get, revenge in whatever way she needs to get it. Situation to get sticky at home, but uh, that's just part of it. Sticky situation, sticky right? Situation, yes. <laughs> but thank you very much for your time. Thank you, appreciate it. Hello, um, I'm here for Sticky Situation Episode 2, and your name is, sir? I'm Trevor, Trevor Aito. Nice to meet you, sir. How did you like the episode tonight? Oh, I thought the episode was beautiful. I was here for Episode 1, and this is 2, and I heard there's a 3 coming, so God willing, I would definitely do Episode 3 also. And Summer is beautiful, Zim, I'm looking forward to do some work with them, so anything that they do, I'm going to support them, because they're cool people, and I like, I like their drive. Absolutely. So well, who was your favorite character tonight? My favorite character is actually Shy. Because, you know, she, it, didn't, it didn't unfold what is going to happen to her, but she's like backstabbing her best friend. So 
something has to go down with there. I definitely, I'm looking forward to see that, definitely. And the episodes are just nice and groovy and something to do with fun for a Saturday night, so I'm digging it. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. I'm here on Sticky Situation Episode 2. I'm here with the creator of this project, Miss Summer Angel. Nice to see you tonight. Nice to see you, too. Good job. Thank you very much. So, um, how did you feel about the cast members, and how did, it, how did you come up with the decision to choose the people that you chose for the role? Wow. The decision. I decide on people that was reliable, people I could work with, people I think that was good, and that's going to bring the characters alive. So that's how I determined with the characters that I did choose. And I, people that wants to do something, I'm willing to help them. Even though you don't act or anything, I'm willing to say, come on, I'll try with you. You get me? That's how I came about with actors. Um, would you say that the ones that you chose that weren't naturally actors, did you, would you say that you had to direct them or did you see something naturally in them that they could portray in their character? I think each and every one of them had a different unique thing in them for the characters that they've read. And to be honest, when I do put them in the first scene, I rewrite some of the stuff to match the way they are. Just like um, Charles, Charles Johnson, the Italian guy, with him. I had so much fun writing for him because I could imagine him saying the stuff. Oh, these fucking Jamaicans! I, 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 I see them. I see him saying it. So me putting it out there it was, it was. He was. He's one of the characters that I wrote for that gave me exactly what I was looking for. I mean, everyone did a fabulous job, but his voice, the way he acted, his movements was just exactly on point for his character. He really was one of my favorites. Right. He's very funny. He was awesome. Um, what would you think? that was your hardest um, scene that you had to play as far as you writing this story as well as playing it? The hardest scene I had to play? Wow, Jesus. All the scenes was easy because I wrote the scenes. And, um, geez, the hardest scene. Ugh. All the scenes was nice for me. As far as it was for me, because that's what I love to do. No scene was too much of a task for me. It's just nice being on set in Fleming. That's that's my passion. Can we get a little um, sample of what's going to happen for episode three? Mm. Oh my God! Episode three is going to be more of. Should I tell them Zim? No, Zim is like ah. <laughs> episode three is. It's, it's really, oh my God, I sent, when I, I swear to God on my life, I was reading episode three and writing for Don Don, J the Jamaican promoter. And when I was writing his scene, he's playing my uncle in the next episode and a, tears came from my eye. Someone called me and they said, what are you doing? I said, I'm crying. They said, why? I said, I'm writing. I can't talk right now because I'm getting into the root of my of the person that abused me. My uncle is telling me something and I'm getting into it and I'm feeling what happened. You know, I, I'm just going to throw this one scene out because my uncle knew and he was a pastor. You get me? And it, I don't want to really get there. You, you get what I'm saying? It got very sticky because it hurt me knowing that someone in the household knew that I was being touched but never said anything. So this is going to be a very, very good scene. And it's going to show um, Vendela's son. We're going to bring him in more and teach him more about the abuse and stuff and what to look for. But that's all I can say. Okay, so we're going to get to see more of the son. More of the situation of being abused. Okay. Bobby and his wife getting in their little craziness about me staying at the house. Shy. You need to just stay shy for now. Because <laughs> a lot of your, your character is going to build it. I don't want to tell you. I just want you to get the script and then, you know, yeah, it's easier that way. Yeah, definitely. It looks like you put a lot of time and dedication into the project. Some and I stayed up for hours. I mean... Hours, hours. Even when I had to go to work the next day, he'll be there 5 a.m. in the morning. It was one time when his tires went out at 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock, and he was out there for three hours. While I was getting ready for work, I was asleep. I was so knocked out, and I felt so bad. But he pulled through, and he got home safe. And here we are. Sticky situation. <laughs> how can you uh, balance all of this with your time? How, how do you do this? Well, my time, you know I'm a very busy person. Anyway, um, with my time, you know what? You make time for people in your life that you want to be with. 
and you make time for things that's passionate to you. And as long as you focus on those things, time is always going to be available for stuff that you want to do. That's just what I do. I make time for things that I'm interested in, people I love, you know? And movies and Fleming is something that I love. So I'm always going to have time for that, regardless of anything. Did you ever imagine this project being as big as it is? Wow, I never knew how big it was going to be, honest to God, because right now we have so many people trying to call us to be a part of it. But Zim and I, are, we're a team, even though sometimes we fight every day. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we fight for something right, because that's what it is. When you're doing something, it's your baby. You're going to tell you that's wrong from what's right from what's wrong. But this is, I didn't know it was going to be this big, to be honest. It was just an idea. I went to the, the um, NAFCO Awards in Washington. Me and Bobby Vin Valentino and Vendela, we won anyway for um, Best Movie somewhere in Baltimore. It's also available now on Amazon. You can get a copy of that movie. But I came back and I was writing and I was showing showing Bobby where he's going to be in Vendela's house. I was telling Vendela what connection. He said, why don't you write the script? And that's how it came about. I said, oh, my God, sticky situation. And I went home and I wrote. This was written. You were the same one that read the script on, on the phone with me when you first met me. And this is what it is. Oh, you did an awesome job. It's phenomenal. Um, I'm watching it grow and I'm watching it blossom. Watching it. Thank you so much. Um, I'm trying to make it either a web series or shop it for like Hula or Netflix, something like that. But I have to, once all the episodes are done, we'll come up with a decision on what's best to do with our baby, right, Zen? Come over here and say something. <laughs> Jim Kardashian. <laughs> Uh -huh. Zim. Uh -huh. Trust me. Um, you put Trust so me. much dedication Trust into this project. Explain to me um, your view of everything. Um, my view of everything is just to uh, keep it exciting, keep it keep it different, and keep it like um, interesting. So people will want to keep watching it. People are going to want to keep asking questions. They're going to keep wondering. So I have a little suspense, you know, maybe add, you know, um, most likely we're going to add, you know, more action, you know, more more drama, you know, maybe some some scary horror stuff, you know, just to just to give it just to give it a little a little mix, you know. Um, for episode two, um, what was your favorite uh, part about preparing for episode two? Uh, the preparation. Um, well, I would say that came from filming episode one. And there were a lot of mistakes we made. So learning from that episode two, we was able to correct a lot of things and do a lot of things different, which made it flow better. Even with the with the uh, with the acting, with the you know, the way that we shot it, the, the locations and and just keeping it simple, but at the same time, keeping it interesting and keeping it professional, you know. So learning from what we did in episode one, it's okay, episode two, let's do so now. Episode three should even be better because we made some mistakes in episode two. So we like, all right, now, you know, we correct that. Now episode three, we can try this and try that, move on to this. So, so yeah, that, I, I, I say from, from just from the, what we did previously. Um, I noticed that you all had a lot of different scenes in a, different locations that you, you went to. Um, what was the hardest location for you to get? Wow, it was a few of them. Uh, how about this? Uh, the chase scene with Charlie, when he was chasing a guy and he picked up the rock, that scene was crazy because he had to drive, like, across the street into the, you know, in, into the little the little drive part and traffic was you know it was a busy day traffic so a couple times we couldn't get it right yeah yeah and 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 it was i don't know if y'all noticed but when he first got out the car you notice how it was windy why was it just windy at that part and no other part it was windy so we were just going through all these all these changes then it was a a a, a group of football high school kids that we was going to use but we couldn't. They just they just were there and they kind of reacted to Charlie chasing the guy and it was so funny, but we couldn't use it. So so that was a little challenging and and uh, I would say 
uh, when we was on the porch filming um, uh, Dizzy and, uh, and Bobby, that was a little challenging too, just because the um, the ice cream man was out there. I don't know if y'all could hear in the background. Yeah. So it was a lot of noise, a lot of stuff, and you gotta when you when you're editing for 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 movies or for TV audio, you have to really like you have to listen to everything, and then you have to use other sounds to blend it in. So a lot of times, you know, you won't realize, you know, you know the mistakes or what's inconsistent because of sounds that's added and edited in. Sometimes actors got to go back in and say say the word in the studio to say it over and match it because, the, you know, the audio at that time didn't pick up so well. A couple of times we had to use previous shots and I had to take the audio from those shots to match it, to make it, you know, so it's a lot of creative things. Here. See, I, I do music production and recording too, so that's a great skill to have when we're, you know, doing movies and when I'm editing the sound, it's just like I'm editing in the studio, so... I really enjoyed the music that was put together with the scenes in the film. Um, it was it was very awesome, especially for the last scene. I really loved the music. <laughs> I did. <laughs> we 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 went through a whole. Uh, I think was it it was a good twenty minutes, a half hour, trying to decide what R&B songs to use, and you know that you know we we, we came up with, with those two at the end of the episode two. Okay. Um, can you tell me about any other projects you have that you're working on? Um, I have a there's another TV series I, I filmed for called The Book of Nimrod. I'm one of the cameramen for that. That's on YouTube. Um, I always I have my own website uh, streetgrounds.com. So I'm always like doing music videos. I'm always uh, uh, there's another show I shoot for called The Record Shop. In, in events, music events, and different things like that. So I, I, I shoot for that. But um, I'm always filming. I'm always doing um, music videos or, or events, things like that. Um, you know, I'm always doing something. <laughs> well, on behalf of the audience and myself, I would like to thank you both, you and Summer Angel, for this production and the creation of it all. And I will be waiting anxiously for episode three. Thank you so much. Oh, of course. Thank you for coming. Thank you.